guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is my first ever baby naming video so i've actually found this really difficult because there's a lot of names that i do really really like and to cut it down to 10 each was actually really really hard so what i'm going to do is i'm doing 10 girls and 10 boys and i'm going to say them in alphabetical order I'm going to go girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, so I'm not doing the girls first then the boys, I'm going to do alternate. Because we do not know what we are having, obviously it makes sense for me to do both girl and boy. I have a long list of names on my phone and to cut it down to the 10 was honestly really, really difficult. So I like quite quirky and not necessarily really unusual names but I like quite different names because I think it's something that obviously makes a child stand out from everybody else it gives them their own identity but then with girls names I actually do quite also like the classical well not necessarily classical but like the nice girly probably quite popular names so I've written them all in my magic little gold book I'll just get the page up so as I said, I'm going to go down in alphabetical order, I'm going to go girls first and then boys. So these are my, probably my top 10 names for girls and boys. Probably might, maybe possibly use one of these names, whether it is a girl and a boy. Girls wise, I think our girl's name is definitely written on this list. So hopefully I don't give you that away. Because we are quite set on a girl's name, whereas boys, honestly, we literally change our minds like every five minutes. I actually said to Josh last night in bed, how many times a day do you think that you think about boys' names? And he said, about five, what about you? I said, all day. <laughs> He's literally on my mind all the time. I just can't find that one name that I'm like, oh my god, this is it. I either find it and then someone's like, oh, my dog's called that, or... I don't know, I just change my mind all the time. So anyway, I'm going to jump straight into it. So, my first favourite girl's name is August. The fact that I'm doing August, I actually really like that... I just like the name August. I think it's a really pretty name. And also, if the baby is born in August, I think it would be really lovely or also really nice as a middle name. My first boy's name is Axel. So this is currently one of my favourite boys' names, but there's just something, I'm just like, is it really a name? <laughs> like, it's a strong name, and I think it's a very boyish and manly name, but there's just something, I'm just like, is that actually a name? Can I call my child Axel? But I do, I do really like it as a name. But my second girl's name is Etta. Obviously this is really old fashioned, but it's not that common at the minute. So I feel like it's one of them names that's not that well known, can be cute for a little girl, it can be nice for a teenager and it can be nice for a grown woman. It's just one of them names that I think kind of fits with every generation of that child. It's only something recently that has stood out to me. I actually think that my sister-in-law's niece is called Etta. Oh, I think she actually is um, and then one of my followers on Instagram commented last night that they really like the name Etta and that just reminded me I was like yeah I actually really do like that name so my second boy's name is Buddy so I really really like this name but I've actually been googling it and looking on forums which is really stupid because obviously it's just gonna be full of people's opinions and everyone is like you can't call your child buddy it's like calling your child pal or mate or it's named it's like buddy the elf but i just really like the name buddy i just think it's really cute <laughs> obviously you don't want it to be cute when they're older but i just think it would really suit like a little toddler i think it would suit like a 10 year old and a lot of people have said they know someone called buddy and at first they were a bit like oh but they said now that it really suits them and they can't imagine them being called something else. So Buddy is also one of them names that is quite high up for me. It's just whether I actually go for it or not and just be myself and not care what other people think. But my husband is really into that name as well. So yeah, Buddy. So yeah, I, do, I would definitely spell it with a Y if it was a boy. Um, if it was a girl, I'd probably spell it IE, but I'd just 
I definitely prefer it for a boy. So my third girl's name is Felicity and obviously this is probably quite a popular name it's quite it's not very unique it's quite girly but i really like flick as a nickname so if i were to call my daughter felicity then i would probably shorten it to flick and i just think that's really really cute it reminds me of the bug's life if anyone is an old school disney fan or bug's life was like one of the biggest disney films when i was like 10 and one of the little bugs on there was called Flick. So yeah, I really like Felicity. I just think it's a really nice name. Again, it suits someone as a young child, a toddler, an adult. I'd like to think it does anyway. So my fourth boy's name is Chester. And again, we both really, really like this name. It's probably in our top three at the minute. That might change. It probably will change. But it just reminds me of Gary from Jordan Shaw. He's got a little boy called Chester and even though he literally is the only person I know that has a child called Chester I feel like people would think I named it after him whereas Josh actually was the one that suggested the name and he actually had no idea that Gary from George Shaw had a little boy called Chester so he's like well why does that matter and I do get it doesn't matter at all but I think because it's quite a different name or it's quite unique there's not that many around it stands out as being a celebrity's baby name which I don't really like, like it's kind of like you're copying, I don't know, but I do really like the name Chester, I just think it's a nice boy's name, again, suit a toddler, suit a little boy, suit someone who's like in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and again, when my child grows up, he is, he or she is going to be surrounded by children with different and unique names, and I actually think it'll be a really nice thing. My fourth girl's name is Indy, I just think it's really quick, quirky, short and sweet it, there's nothing you can shortcut it to which is what also what I really like there's a lot of names that I like but I hate the shortened version so in date there's nothing you can go from there you're not going to call the, a little girl Ind or Di I mean you might do but next boy's name is Crew but I would literally either spell that C-R-E-W as the normal word or I would spell it C-R-U-E I just again it's just one of those names it's really quick it's just really bold, just crew, like it's just a nice name. Even if I didn't use it as a first name, I would definitely consider using it as a middle name. I think it's different. I have actually seen quite a lot of babies called this now, but I just think, again, it suits a little boy, suits an adult. And I just think it's a very nice, quick, easy name to say. My fourth girl's name, I've loved this name for years and years and years and years. I only know one child called this name and it is Minnie. So I would literally spell it as Minnie Mouse. I've loved the name for years, but it's not, it's probably not in my top three, but I definitely love the name Minnie. I just think it's really cute. I love the word cute. Really cute, really girly. Again, I think you could get away with being called Minnie in your 20s, in your 30s. I'm not sure either what it could ever get shortened to. I'm, I don't think there's anything that you could actually shortcut the word mini to, which I also again like. My next boy's name, this is one of my favourite boy's names, but Josh cannot stand it because he thinks that when I say the name I can then explain, but it's Casper. I just really like it. I've loved it since I was like 18. I remember working in a salon and this woman came in, you know, she pulled up in a Range Rover outside, she got this little baby out and I've always been obsessed with babies and I was like, oh my god, that woman is literally like girls. And she brought in this gorgeous little boy, he had bright blue eyes and I said, oh, what's he called? And she was like, Casper. And I was like, oh my god, I absolutely love that name. And it stuck with me since, but because we both have really blonde hair as children, like we both literally had white hair till we were about eight. Josh had it for a lot longer than me, so we are definitely having a child with white hair and it will probably be quite pale. So he just thinks that Casper is literally just going to be basically saying what that child is. Probably quite a white, blonde white child. <laughs> but I really love the name, I think it's different. I don't know anyone currently called Casper and I just really, really love the name. So my next girl's name is Nala. 
so obviously that's off the lion king again i just think it's a gorgeous little quirky name nala can't really shorten it to anything either nal probably not going to do that because it's not very nice but it's literally a four letter name nala I just think it sounds lovely, it rolls off the tongue and again I think even in your 20s, especially when my child hits its 20s, you can definitely get away with the name Nala as your name. My next boy's name is Forrest. So I really, really, really love this name. I just think that my family would have something to say if I called my child Forrest, which is quite sad really because it's kind of like I'm thinking about what they think. I don't care what anyone else thinks, but family-wise, I just I just can't see them being happy with calling my child Forrest. But I've loved the name for years. It was Josh that even suggested it years ago. And then one of my favourite influencers, Sky Wheatley, she actually called her little boy Forrest. And then I was like, oh my god, like it is actually a name. People are calling the child Forrest. So Forrest is definitely in my top three. So my next girl's name is Nelly. So I absolutely love this name. I The only issue is I know a lot of people who have a child called Nelly, but it's literally been one of my favorite names for years. My great grandma was actually called Nelly and I've loved the name probably since I was like 15. I also like the shortened version of Nell. Again, I just think that's actually quite a nice name in itself but the only issue there is that we know a lot of people who have children called Nelly but again it's not going to put me off because like I said it's one of my favourite names it's my great grandma's name and it's just a name that I've loved I just think it's really girly really cute Josh really loves it as well and I can just imagine us having a little girl called Nelly so my next boy's name is Hunter I love the name Hunter I think it's bold, manly, I think it's a strong name, I think you know the way that we bring our child up it will be in a very positive environment, you know you need to work hard, you need to stand up for yourself, you need to take care of yourself, you need to love yourself and I just think Hunter is just a strong name but Josh is not the biggest fan of this name which disappoints me a little bit because it would definitely be in my top three so it's quite a difficult one probably aren't going to use it because he actually is really against it um but it is one of my favorite names so my next girl's name is piper again it's obviously quite an old-fashioned name but i think it's one that's not that common so it's kind of coming back around i just think it's a really nice name i think there's nothing you can shortcut it to it's just piper I actually follow a girl on Instagram whose little girl's called Piper and she really, really suits it. And I just think it's just a gorgeous little name. Short and sweet, there's not that many letters, but I just think it's a gorgeous little name. And it's not in my top names, but if I was to have a second girl, I think I would definitely consider calling her Piper. It, that's if we do have a girl first. The next boy's name, this is definitely in our top three. We both absolutely love it. But again, we're just not 100% on it, which is really difficult because we're just not 100% on any boys' names and it's really infuriating me. But it is Jesse. So when I first suggested it to Josh, he really didn't like it. And now he literally loves it. He keeps going on about it. And I just think it's a nice boys' name. It's different. There's not that many around. And again, it's short and sweet. There's not much you can shortcut to. You might shortcut to Jess, but you might as well just say Jesse because... It's not that much more difficult to say. I know a few boys called Jesse, like influencers, children, or I went to school with a boy called Jesse, but I just think it's a nice little name. So my next Anna. girl's name is Saskia. So I really like this name. Again, it's quite a short name. I like the whole ah at the end, like I do like Alicia's and Olivia's. They're just not that different for me. So like the Saskia is still got that ear on the end, but then it's obviously got a little bit of a different like first name. So obviously Tammy Hembrow's got a little girl called Saskia and I think she really suits it. And I just think it's a gorgeous, strong girl's so name. My again. next favourite boy's name is Ralph. So this was in our top three, I would say, 
for quite a while and even though I'm like only 16 weeks obviously we've been discussing it since we found out but I think in the last few weeks I've noticed that a lot of people's animals are called Ralph and I don't know it just kind of puts me off I do really like it again it's just short and sweet it's quite bold it's just Ralph there's no other like things to say it's just straight down the line Ralph I also think we would suit a child called Ralph he'd have blonde hair hopefully have bright blue eyes people now are calling their dogs and pets after human names it is getting quite difficult to name a child because a lot of people have called the dog or the cat that name so yeah Ralph is one of my favorites but I'm just not sure whether we will actually go there and last <laughs> girl's name that I had to squeeze onto this list even though I've got loads and loads and loads and I'm sure I'm going to be doing another video another few videos across this pregnancy is Savannah so I really like the name Savannah I think the only thing is it's quite long it's quite a mouthful and I don't know what I'd shortcut it to because I don't like Sav that sounds awful I don't like Anna it's a bit old-fashioned love Savannah I think it sounds gorgeous but are you always going to keep saying Savannah Savannah come here my daughter's called Savannah like when she gets to school what what is it gonna be like I just don't know the last boy's name is River so I really love the name River um Josh isn't much of a fan actually I'm not sure if I'd prefer it for a girl or a boy but I think I do like it better for a boy you know if I was to call my child River I'd have then probably quite a classic name as the middle name maybe something like River George or I don't know yeah I do really like the name River but it's there's just something that I'm like is it just a bit too different like I do like unique and I do like different but then I think some names you might it sounds like you're trying too hard to be different so I think it's like a really hard balance of finding that sort of like hitting that fine line of are you going too far or but then no I think if it's something that you like and like I've said before all these names now that are coming out and when our children are growing up the, there's not going to be many people with a normal old-fashioned name I really don't think there is which I do love the normal and old-fashioned names but I also really like the quirky names so I'm more for the quirky names than the older names so thank you so much for watching my video I hope you've enjoyed it I hope I've given you maybe a little bit of name inspo I hope that I've maybe made you feel more at ease if you like those quirky names and you know kind of feel a bit worried of what other people think I really don't think you should worry what people think someone said to me that once that child has that name no matter who it is they will always then say do you know what I cannot imagine them being called anything else which I think is really really true so please please subscribe to my video I have lots and lots and lots of baby and pregnancy content coming and I hope you really enjoy watching my journey and I can't wait to see you in the next video thank you